In today's Idea of the Day, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Star Wars prequels and why it was so important at the end of Episode 3 that C-3PO's memory was erased, but they did not ask to erase R2-D2's memory. And there is a very fundamental reason why this was the case and why he didn't, if they was going to go out and tell him, well, erase his memory, why he didn't ask for both. And that reason is that when George Lucas originally conceived of the Star Wars universe, he had this uh, concept that all of the Star Wars stories would be coming out of legends from a famous book, almost like a Bible, the Journal of the Wills. And that the Journal of the Wills chronicled the eras of, you know, Jedi and, 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 and all the Sith and all this other stuff. But essentially, that in this journal, the story of the Star Wars universe would be told. And in that sense, he needed to have a narrator, somebody who actually wrote the journal, the person who's imparting the story. And to that end, it has always been George Lucas's intention that it was R2-D2, who in fact was the author of the story, the person who indirectly is telling the story. So it was critical that R2's memory not be erased so that there would be continuity. And that on a plus side means that in theory we can uh, hope for a lot more of R2 and probably C-3PO in all of the episodes to follow. And that's today's idea of the day. So hey, thanks for watching. I don't really need any subscribers, but it would really be nice if you hit the subscribe button and shared this with your friends and told everybody how nice it is to be here and how there's lots of nice ideas every day. That would be nice. I don't need subscribers or anything like that. All I need is maybe this chair. And that's it, nothing else. Except maybe this paddleball game. A remote control, the ashtray, and a lamp. But that's it. I don't need anything else. Thanks.